Scott here from Tapas Paranormal and today we're coming at you with something a little bit different. So recently while watching a Doody Rhino stream on Twitch I came across an application called Necrophonic which claims to be a spirit communication and EVP research application. It's currently sat on 4 out of 5 star reviews and it cost £8.99 and I thought what we'd do is we'd spend a couple of minutes just looking at the app trying to interact with any spirits that are nearby generally seeing what it does if it's any good and yeah just having a look so I'm just going to open up the app here now so this is the app interface uh, the options that you have are you can either start the app which starts sweeping through it seems to just sweep through a random word bank and judging by the description it's got eight words available the other options on the screen are you can turn on the white noise filter which I'm not sure what that does you can turn on reverb you can turn on echo I'm going to leave all those settings off and I'm just going to start and we're just going to see what we can pick up So as you can see, it's now spitting out a lot of random words. Um, so I'm just going to try talking to it and see if anything replies. Hello, is there anything there? Are there any spirits? Are there any spirits here that want to talk to me? If you're here, can you say something specific? Something clear? Okay, if you are here, what's your name? Okay. So I've just stopped the uh, application there for a moment. Currently it doesn't seem to be responding particularly smartly and it just seems to be saying a lot of random sort of words that don't have any relation to what I've just said. Um, but I must admit I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this. But we'll start up again and I'm just going to ask it some more specific questions. <laughs> Okay. Am I speaking to a spirit or? If yes, can you tell? Can you tell me how you? It does talk over you a lot? Can you? Can you tell me how you died? Do you know that you're dead? How many spirits are in the room with me now? Okay, that time I thought I had four. I don't know if that was just convenient timing. Did you say there were four? Did you, did you say there were four spirits in the room with me? Please confirm. Did you say there were four spirits here? Okay, I'm just going to stop the app again for a second. So, so far it seems that there are a lot of different word banks involved, um, all of which seem to have a lot of reverb or echo on them. I don't really know 
what the purpose of that is. It doesn't seem to be helpful in communicating with any sort of spirits. I don't claim to live in a haunted house, so I wasn't expecting to have a lot of communication. It did sound like the response I got was four after asking how many spirits were here, but again, that may have just been uh, convenient sounds at the time. I'm not really sure. Generally, I don't quite know at the moment. I'm just wondering whether to turn on any of the other filters available here. Some of the voices that are coming through are quite creepy sounding. However, I feel that like that's just the word banks that are being included. Obviously due to the reverb. Um, so I'm going to start it up again and I'm going to ask it some more questions. So, you know I'm talking to you. One thing that I want to know is how do you feel about these applications that are being used to communicate with you? Do you mind that people are trying to communicate with you? How old were you when you died? What age were you when you died? Okay, so I'm not really getting any sort of competent responses to my questioning here that I can tell. This app didn't request to have access to my microphone or to my location, um, so it can't be using any of that. Because I must admit, my initial thought was possibly that it, possibly that it would detect when I was speaking and then reply, you know, at roughly the same time. But it doesn't seem to be doing that. It seems to just be spouting out a lot of random words and sounds, which I guess, if you get enough in the right order, may sound like words. But as of right now, I'm not really experiencing that. So, do you know... Do you know where you are? Why are you here? Did you die in this location? Okay, so I've stopped it there again, and I think that's where I'm going to call it, because at the moment I'm not really getting any sort of responses. I may try this again another time, but I'm not impressed really for £8.99. Generally, I wasn't expecting a lot anyway, so I'm not particularly disappointed, but I, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's up to much. That's Necrophonic. I will just have a look through the website. Um, and just have a read of how it works and try and give you a quick summary. Okay, so I'm here on their website and I'm just going to have a quick look around. As you can see here, they've got a lot of different applications and merchandise for sale. Uh, they seem to have a lot of other slightly strange devices. A lot of professionals and other paranormal investigators seem to use this software. Again, I'm not personally convinced it does a lot. So the name Necrophonic is a combination of Necro, the meaning for dead and corpse. 
and phonic, which is an adjective relating to speech or sounds. Okay. So yeah, so there's eight sound banks, and the audio has been mastered in a way to bring out various sound properties. Using Pro Tools, the creator was able to enhance high, mid and low range frequencies and also applied other filters to create unique sound characteristics to help layer the audio and create an environment suitable for spirit communication. The audio itself is made up from phonemes, phonemes, partial words, reverse audio, foreign languages and other parts of speech that can help spirits communicate. Besides some basic phonetic sounds such as na, no, da, do, di, ma, me, etc., there are no real words or phrases contained within the bank. These sound banks play in a similar way to the Spiritus Ghost Box, but instead of four sound banks, Necrophonic has eight sound banks. The app also has the optional ninth sound bank called White Noise. This bank can be used alone or with the other eight, giving you a total of nine. The audio is taken from the internal speaker of the famous DR60 recorder that is known as the Holy Grail of EVP recorders. This application is not a white noise generator. This is a normal sound bank like the others, but contains white noise from the DR60. So it seems like the DR60, which produces white noise, has been recorded and is being played back in various sections. So the app contains echo and reverb effects that have been proven to be the best effects to apply to ITC sessions. The echo can create audio that can be manipulated within the echo itself. Echo can also help in live real-time communication by repeating the audio, allowing you to hear what comes through. Reverb can be applied to the audio to create spontaneous Reverb can be applied to the audio to create a spacious sound environment that will enhance audio manipulation. ITC apps work the same way that a physical ghost box works. It provides raw audio that spirits can use for communication. This audio provides various sound frequencies and parts of speech that spirits can use by manipulating the audio characteristics. And here is an article that explains that in greater detail that I'll come back to in a moment. So travel channels, paranormal court on camera, using the application. Use on Oh My Gosh TV. I don't know these particularly. And then you've got the privacy policy, which again, I paid £8.99 for the app on the Google Play Store on my Samsung Galaxy S8, which I don't think should make a difference, but I just wanted to clarify. And then we'll have a quick look here as well. So not all ghost apps work, but the ITC apps, like the one that this person designed, and many others do. Of course, if you don't really believe in ghosts or you're close-minded, that's a whole other conversation. Like many, he was sceptical at first about using apps for communication. He'd been using an SB7 spirit box and other hacked radios along with conducting EVP sessions using digital recorders. So, instrumental transcommunication, which is an ITC device, uh, was created in the 70s by German physicist and engineer Ernest Senkowski. To understand how these apps work, you must understand ITC and how ghost boxes work. It doesn't mean how they literally work, but how they work in relation to spirit communication. What these boxes are doing is creating raw audio. The theory is that the spirit can manipulate these sounds by finding resonating frequencies in the sounds, and altering the shape and resonant characteristics, thus providing spirits a way to create speech. This all stems from EVP, which is Electronic Voice Phenomenon. White noise is the main reason why EVPs are captured. You don't have to use a white noise generator, 
because simply recording nothing is white noise. So really, this doesn't say a lot about how the application itself works, which is interesting to me. Um, but like I said, I didn't really get any communication there. There were a couple of bits that could have been interesting, but to me personally were not. I think I may give this another go in the future, but as for now, I think that'll do. So this has been Scott from Tepper's Paranormal, and that was Necrophonic. See you in the next video.